Hey, what's up? So it's the end of 2021 today, it's December 31st, and I always try and make a review video uh, about the year that's passed and the things that I've learned and the things that I've gone through in the past year. And this year is no different. So today I'm gonna to walk you through my news resolutions from this last year, whether I achieved them or not, my news resolutions and goals for the following year, since my life always revolves around the calendar year with uh, varsity and the academic year. Um, and then just some reflection on that that I've done on the past year and things that went well this year, things that didn't go so well, and things that I might want to improve upon or take with me into the following year. I like making goals on that and the end of the year is always a good time for me to make them. So let's get straight into it with looking at all of my resolutions from the past year. So my New Year's resolutions from last year, there were five of them, started out with reading 30 plus books in the last year. Um, I smashed that goal. I read 41 books in the last year. Here's the whole list of them. Those are all the books that I read this year. Um, I learned so much and just came away with so many new insights having read all of those books. Uh, principally, The Super Intelligence and The Singularity is Near were two of the best non-fiction books I've read this year. Um, just opening my mind to the future and possibilities of AI and super intelligence and the field that I might work on in one, work in one day. So that were, those were really good books. Uh, Sapiens as well, I've reread it and of course a wonderful book. Um, and then just, yeah, I read a whole lot of other books. I can't even remember so many that had an influence on me. Sapiens, so much good sci-fi by Ian Banks. Um, yeah, I smashed that goal this year. My second goal from the previous year was maintaining my current fitness level and physique throughout the year, including strength, size, and sleep. I did okay on the sleep front this year, like I managed to sleep a lot this year, uh, well, more so than past years. I kind of fell off the gym bandwagon because I hurt my knee um, near the middle of the year, and then I went to physio a bit for, for it. Um, and I didn't uh, stick to a program in the second half of the year, and so I didn't do as much gym as I should have, but I'm gonna work on that next year. Otherwise, I think I maintained my overall level of health and fitness pretty decently. Number three, be less antagonistic and have less of a victim mentality. I think I did okay with that. I practiced some real stoicism this year when things went wrong. Um, cancellation of overseas trips, um, <laughs> the nuking of my uh, laptop with some lightning and that. And overall, it was a pretty happy year and I enjoyed myself a lot more than the previous 2020. And so I think I did okay on that front. Number four, never worry more than a month in advance. As I said, I also think I did okay with that, with the stoicism. Obviously didn't achieve it completely because I was always worried about failing and about varsity as one, as one does. Um, but I did okay in that, I'll be better next year. <laughs> Doesn't everyone say that? <laughs> Lol. And then number five, enjoy the time I have with my friends and family. I achieved um, in this, I think I spent enough time with my friends and family this year. Um, but I want to spend a uh, different time with them next year and that's one of my goals for next year So those are all my new year's resolutions from the previous year, but then um, I did Ali Abdal's um, annual review uh, So it's like a notion template that he posts uh, that you can read through and then fill in for yourself Basically just reflecting on the stuff that happened to you in the last year and actually putting together like a timeline of your past year Our lives go past so fast that we don't actually realize what happened in the last year And so uh, if you have a look here, I'll show up my timeline here actually a lot of stuff happened in the last year. The big picture, I finished fourth year computer engineering um, and I, I worked my first part-time job, which I then subsequently could to focus on varsity work. Um, I stayed at home a lot and missed socializing a lot. Um, but also I experienced a lot of end of degree stuff with my friends, including a trip to Afri ski. I learned how to scuba dive and to ski this year. Those were some amazing experiences that actually were this year and it doesn't sometimes feel like it was this year. But yeah, then just scrolling through the timeline and seeing what I did each month, you know, going away, seeing old friends, working on uh, uh, the hive work that company that I was working on, uh, going away with Maria, visiting Maria, more work, more varsity work, the networking sup. Uh, and the networking holiday module, which I forgot was even this year, uh, birthday parties that I went to, house sitting that I did, more trips that I did, varsity work, um, people starting jobs, getting vaccinated finally, which was like finally a chance to take control over the pandemic, um, people in hospital, um, you know, more birthday parties, exploring stuff, varsity work, exams, Christmas parties, holiday at the end of the year, a lot happened and I discovered a lot about myself in that this year and I enjoyed a lot of the year. The one thing I discovered about myself this year is that I'm not a loner, like I need to spend time with people and the time that I spent at home by myself was the worst uh, time of the year. Um, and so next year I need to spend a lot more time with people and socializing whenever possible. Um, those are the books and the things that I learned about myself. Then I answered a whole lot of reflective questions from Ali Abdal's questionnaire. Stuff like, when have you felt proud of yourself this year? If you had to teach one thing you learned this year, what would it be? How did you suffer differently this year? What did you feel guilty for this year? Who are you most grateful to from this last year? What new habits did you make this year that you want to take into the following year? 
um, yeah, what, uh, which of last year's goals did you not achieve and what do you want to carry on into the next year trying to achieve? Stuff like that. And it was really, the, the, a lot of it is personal so I won't share it with you, but it was a really um, helpful exercise just to like actually take some time and digest the last year and digest the last year of my life and see what, what, more, what things I want to take into the future and what goals I want to make in the future. Now onto the exciting stuff. So the next stuff I want to talk about is my planning for next year, the goals that I have for next year. Um, I've made, what do I see? I've made six goals for next year. Uh, uh, and uh, amongst other things, I will get done like varsity and uh, spending time with friends and small daily tasks every day and uh, you know, minor goals. But these are my main six priorities for next year. They are in order. Number one, crushing varsity and my final year project. This will be what I'll spend the most time and effort on next year. And so, yeah, I just, I need to do well with varsity and I need to smash it and I need to graduate at the end of next year. So if I get that done, you know, everything else is kind of uh, ancillary. My second goal for the year is to complete the power building program by Jeff Nippert that Maria bought me for Christmas twice. It's a new gym program and it's just a way for me to focus on my health and my fitness um, by just following a program and doing, sticking religiously to it and what it says I must do every day. So that's going to be a good big fitness goal. My third goal, uh, third because it's at the beginning of the year, will be to write the first draft of a novel and post it online for commentary. I want to write a Mars slash SpaceX adventure novel, um, uh, chronicling like the first couple of uh, years on Mars if a Mars base is created. And I've wanted to write a book for a long time and I feel like I finally have the engineering knowledge to write a good sci-fi novel. Um, and it's just time I created some more stuff instead of just consuming great novels. So that's uh, the third goal for the year. The fourth goal is to start an online business and just generate revenue and uh, acquire money somehow on the internet. I've got all these tech skills and that's so I surely must be able to create a website or a tool or something useful, a useful solution for people online with all these skills. And yeah, I'm really interested in finance and that. And so learning by doing is the best way to go about acquiring new knowledge. And so I want to start an online business. And so I don't have all the details yet, but that's one of the goals. The fifth goal is to enjoy the moment and hang out more with friends and family um, and not focus so much on the future, just really be present and I'm a futurist so I'm always thinking about the future and things to come but actually focusing on the moment and the things that I'm doing right now and enjoying those things, those are the things that I need to focus on next year and just enjoying the moment and socializing more with people, I need to do that as much as possible. And then my sixth goal is to read 50 books next year. My goal for last year was to read 30 books. I ended up reading 41. And so, fuck it. I might as well shoot for the moon and smash 50 books next year. Maybe even 52. That gets to a book a week. And I don't read a book a week. Like, I read in waves. Like, there were a couple of weeks that went past where I only read one book over, those, uh, over an entire month because I was focusing on varsity work. Um, but yeah, read a lot of books. It makes you smarter. It's, it gives me a lot of pleasure. That's a big goal. A change of angle here for the last part of the video because I was just dying on my knees over there. Um, and then I have a someday maybe list here as well. A list of things that I would like to do maybe one day and so that I should start thinking about one day and start thinking about honing my skills towards or um, doing if I can given the opportunity this year. This includes skydiving, learning to surf, traveling around Europe one day, creating a big product or service one day that touches lots of lives, competing in a bodybuilding contest, performing in another stage play or giving a TED talk. Those are all things I think I would pretty much like to do one day and would be like a great thing to have on my bucket list ticked off. Um, and so working on some skills and some thoughts and ideas this year that get me closer towards those goals are also like something I should always have in the back of my mind. And then finally, you can see here in my list I have a step three, execute. Um, heading because all of these goals and that are wonderful but if you don't actually ever accomplish them or you don't ever put in the work or uh, establish the systems uh, that you can use to achieve those goals they're just empty words on a page just empty uh, words in a youtube video and so the plans i have to achieve some of these goals include working consistently with varsity and working uh, ahead of time in order to get things done asking my friends for help whenever I need it, and just, you know, overall working ahead with Varsity. The best thing with computer engineering and Varsity as a whole is to just work ahead and not leave things for the last minute. And so, yeah, I've made it this far with four years of computer engineering. This fifth one, it's time to smash it. Making time for gym in my schedule and going every day that I can and following that Jeff Nippert program religiously is going to help with my fitness goals a lot. Uh, in January and February, when I'm still on holiday, I'm going to schedule three hours for writing every morning and then post what I've written immediately afterwards online for accountability and for growing it. 
Um, in the next few days, while I've still got some time off on holiday, I'm going to write a big mind map out, planning the story and that, because I'm really keen about that and I want to get this done. With regards to the business and that, I'm going to carry on working on my personal website and uh, an AI course that I've got in order to upskill myself a little bit and then try and monetize some of those skills in some ways. Else become a freelancer in some way with all of the skills that I've got or starting a course or offering lessons online for the things that I've learned. But mainly I'm working on that personal website using JavaScript and Vue and Python and a little bit of the AI course and then trying to find a niche or a, a problem or a solution that I can a problem that I can solve with a solution using those skills that I've learned recently. That's for the business uh, goal. And then with regards to socializing and that, just making plans with friends, having a good time at Urban, organizing parties, working in public spaces like out at uh, the library or the coffee shops around campus and that, attending meetups and brides, even if I have work due, and just like, you know, really trying to focus on the current, my current happiness and not future possibilities that I think will contribute to my happiness and sociability a lot. But yeah. Those are all the goals for 2022. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a hell of a difficult year, but it's going to be great fun. And I'm looking forward to becoming an even uh, smarter, more adventurous, happier person because um, that's the goal every year. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you made some uh, goals in that for yourself. Or if you don't make goals in that, I hope that you're having a wonderful December slash January period when you watch this. Uh, thanks for sticking with me for the last year. Growing the YouTube channel has been one of my biggest successes in the last year, and I hope to continue to do that in the following year. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you very soon. See you next year. Bye.